Hi, I'm Naridan Sari and in this time I'm going to show you how you can rotate your camera around our character. So this is our character and this is our camera so it can rotate around it like we have it in, I think in Fortnite we have it, I think in World of Warcraft we have it and let's just do that, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporter for supporting me to create all of these videos. And next, I should tell you that this video is a part of video series about animations and static meshes. Everything about it, okay? So, we have our character and if we run, you can see we can go forward, we can go backward, we can strafe like this, okay? We just create animation, I think. We create all of these animations. We can jump, we can wave, <laughs> and you can go. You can see the gun is attached to the handle or character. And in the last video, I did show you how you can attach that gun. But with mouse, we can look around our character to see that gun, right? I want to show you how you can do that right now. So first of all, go to project setting. If it's not open, go to edit, go to project setting. And when you open it, go to input. And because I did create this project from a third person template, it creates some input for me here. For example, turn right and left with mouse and look up and down with mouse, right? I want to show you how we can use them. So first of all, let's just go to our event graph in here. Let's just go down with it, all of these together. Let's just go down and add another thing. So for example, turn right and left with mouse, right? Right click in here, search for turn right and left mouse, okay, in access event. So click on it and no, we can go right and left with this turn right and left, right? So how we can do that, we can right click in here and instead of saying, let me show you, add movement input, okay? We want to change the um, position of our camera, right? We want to rotate that. So let me show you the trick in here. So if you search for add controller, you can see there is three of them. Add controller pitch input, add controller ro roll input, and yaw input, right? So let me go here, select this for example, and if we go to details panel, you can see in rotation we have roll, we have pitch, and we have yaw, okay? So for showing you better, let's just put this character in here, and you can see if I click on it again in rotation in detail, in detail panel in here in rotation, you can see this is a roll and this is pitch and this is yaw. For example, yaw. Let's just change the change that and you can see for changing the yaw, you can see we can use most X and most Y on this yaw, right? Because we want to rotate around ourselves, right? And if you want to change the look up and down, let me see which one is this. If we go, you can see it, right? Go look up and look down, we can have it like this, with this pitch. So yaw is for rotating like this, okay? Rotating, rotating around ourselves like this. And the pitch is look up, look up and look down, okay? So now let's just use them. First of all, add controller yaw input okay and we want to use the mosaics the turn right and left most that we set it for the mosaics right turn right left most with mosaics and let's just connect these to here connect these to here and now with this if we compile and run our game you can see nothing will happen with our mouse right let me first delete this character we don't want it so <clears throat> with this we add controller yaw input with this a turn right and left right but when we run it nothing happened so what we can do click on this spring arm and in here you can see it says use pawn control rotation check that and if we compile and run 
No, you can see we can rotate around our character, right? <laughs> and because we are changing the spring arm rotation, we checking this use pawn control rotation, we will change the direction of our camera. And because at the top, we use the camera to get the forward vector and get the right vector so when wherever we are looking at it will go to that place you can see it right so you can see all the animation is working fine but if you don't want to have it like this to get the forward and right vector from the camera you can always for example use this capsule component instead of that like this and now with this, if we compile and run our game, we can now look around. But if we hit W, it will go forward like this. Everything cool. And we can see the gun as well. Gun is okay. And we can go to right and go to left. Everything cool. You should decide which one you want. If you want to get the forward vector from the capsule component, it is okay. And if you want to do it from camera, it's it will work as well, right? So next one, look up and look down. It's easy. Right click and search for look up and down with mouse. Okay, this axis event is important, right? And you know it. We should add controller this time pitch input okay and if we connect it like this because we are just using this control pitch and yaw on our spring arm because we check this use pawn control rotation it will just happen for our camera and now we can look up look down and everything is working fine and if we hit w it will go forward everything cool the, all the idle animation is happening if we jump everything is cool and if we wave everything cool as well right so if uh, for example if you don't want to use control rotation on the spring arm you can uncheck this and if you want to use it on camera again in camera you can select it and let me see go down or you can just search it okay use on control rotation no if we compile and run you can see we can rotate our uh, camera with the mouse okay and you can see it we can do it like this as well and you should decide which one you want to have and how you want it right i always use this spring arm to use pawn control rotation and i don't want it on the um camera okay so at the end it should look like this okay i think it's the better choice we can jump we can wave like this everything cool and why i did create this video because in next video i'm gonna show you how you can put two-handed gun or two-handed sword in the hand of our character so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye